My other big love is a part of the Great Plain or Kortobad in Hungarian. It's impossible to talk about that area without passion. If you're into horses too, then you may have seen photos of a man in blue riding on the back of two horses, but actually driving five, right? Did you know that the idea originally came from an equestrian painter from Austria who had a dream about this feat? When a Hungarian horseman from this area called Csikós saw this painting, he decided to bring this dream to life. Those who ride horses, they know that it's pretty hard, if not impossible, to stop a 1,300 pound horse from galloping. Yet, this guy manages to control five of them. Nowadays, imitators from other regions have started doing the same thing, but always in an enclosed area. Whereas in the Great Plain, there's no such thing as a fence. And the horses are not stupid. They know exactly that there's nothing to hold them back. Moreover, they love freedom. It's a truly thrilling experience. Hello, my name is Ildi, that is I-L-D-I. It's a typical Hungarian name, so I'm afraid I can't give you an anglicized version. I was born and raised in Budapest, but it's actually in Hortobaj that I learned how to ride a horse properly from the greatest masters. But I'm getting ahead of myself. During our two-hour trip to the Great Plain, I'll tell you everything you need to know about it, starting with the role it played during the 40 years of communism, to why basically all Hungarian dishes originate here. When arriving at the Great Plain, we'll start by getting on horse-drawn carriages that'll take us right to the middle of the Great Plain. There you can really get a taste of what it feels like to live out there. The temperature, the soil, the wide open spaces and the amazing views. We'll go from one herd of animals to another, so we'll get the chance to see our beautiful grey cattle that we're so bloody proud of. If you've ever been in Nuremberg, Germany, then you must have seen a statue of this muscular animal at the main square, just by Starbucks, by the way. Guess why? Well, because in the Middle Ages, these animals were herded there to the international market. Imagine, they were so tough that they never lost any weight. We'll also get the chance to see the Hungarian buffalo. You know, the delicious cheese mozzarella is made from their milk. After seeing all the key animals of the Great Plain comes the best part, the show with the five horses. You don't want to miss that. By the time we're taking back from our one and a half hour trip to the middle of the plain, we'll probably be starving, so we can either go to a restaurant nearby or I can ask my friend to prepare some Hungarian grey cattle stew for us. The whole experience will be as authentic as it can be. I wish I could tell you all the surprises I have for you, but if I told you, they wouldn't be surprises anymore, would they? Let me just tell you one thing. I recently had a wonderful American family who came to Europe for a whole month. A month, right? When they went back, they sent me a message saying that the highlight of the European trip was our super long day in Hortobad. Guess why? Well, because I've got loads of friends there, so they could get insights no one else could have. You can see and touch all the animals. You can get to know real people from the region. If you fancy riding a horse in the Great Plain, that's also possible. My friends have been doing that for 35 years with people from all over the world. No, they don't speak any languages other than Hungarian, but words like trotting or galloping they know it in about 20 languages. You can trust them. In short, if you want to experience life in the countryside without feeling like a tourist, you'll love my Great Plain Puerto Bay tour. Scroll down to the calendar, check my availability, and order the tour or tours you're interested in. The process is as easy as ABC. When I've received payment, I'll book your dates in my calendar, and I'll contact you for further details. Should you have any questions, do not hesitate to contact me. It's always best to send me a message through the contact form on my site because of the time difference between our countries. And also 
because I prefer not to answer the phone when I'm guiding my gorgeous tourists. I like to give them my undivided attention. That's something that you, hopefully, will experience firsthand too. So, I hope to see you soon. I'll say goodbye for now, or in Hungarian, viszont, látásra.